Look at that beautiful sight, guys. Hello, guys. This is our phone. We are back with some Age Gauntlet. So what I've tried, what I'm, what I'm going to do instead of putting out a bunch of three, three, three episodes of Let's Plays, I'm just gonna put out a bunch of Let's Plays as it is, and I will gradually over time keep adding videos to them. Um, but I want to get back into some more RPG games, so I'm probably gonna get back back to the NES, the NES, the Game Boy Advance, and the the Game Boy Color. Try to find some RPGs for that. And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be playing Mage Gauntlet, and this game is fucking awesome. This game is beautiful. I love it. It's awesome. So let's get into it. Let's get to story mode. And so first, all we could do is do the. So we can have like have a wardrobe option, but none we could do there. Okay, black market, in-app purchases. Hell no. Is that I have barely even played the game. Why the hell would I do that? I'm just playing. I played enough of the game to know much. Finally, the tower is right across the bridge to the southeast. Took me almost a week to get here. Hope this white beard is home. Let's hope. It, yeah, so this game. Oh my god, this game reminds me of Wayward Souls. It's like, um. Like, uh, Wayward Souls is like the Dark Souls of this game. This game is more on the lighter hand, like a Skyrim, like a bright Skyrim game. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like an adventure game. I like it a lot. Let me show you, um. Let me show you a lot of things that this game has to offer. And I just fucked up a crit. You're not supposed to waste crits. Even though they're very random. So yeah, you can use a D-pad. I use the analog stick. Because it feels a lot easier. And so these are wraiths. These are baddies. And basically what happens is that you can also wear one of them as a mask. If you uh, manage to get that drop. Okay, good good shit. Good shit. Alrighty. Uh, uh. You can also charge up. Boom, for a charge attack. Just want to show that. I don't want to go down there because I don't want to have to walk all the way back up. Uh, 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 bastard. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck out of here. Oh god, slay you. Fuck you. You still alive? Uh, uh, not no more. You can destroy almost about everything in this goddamn game. And is there a secret over here? Because it looks like this path leads down. There's probably no secret over here. And there isn't. There's just more wraiths. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty. To hell with them though. Who cares about them? Let us continue on this journey. So, uh, we can also dash. Let that keep that in mind. We can also dash. Um, so we can't go through there. We can only go through here. So the story in this game is kind of basic. You're you're like this girl. You're this mage, and you basically you're not a mage basically because you can't touch magic. Anything with magic you destroy. So you're the opposite. You're like an anti mage. You can't use magic. You destroy magic. Um, but you can kind of use like these spells, these certain types of spells that get imbued with like the specially modified staff that you have. So with this door, you basically you have to attack it. Um, so yeah, that should do it. You damn right it should. All right, let's continue on. Oh, boom, oh, boom. Alrighty, wipe out a couple of treasures. Let's continue on. Now that I'm inside, I just need to find the wizard. That explosion has gone on his attention. Okay, so he wants us to find him. So first things first, we need to go up here. We need to read Legend of Whitebeard and Hergoth. Long ago, a great evil called Hergoth had descended upon the realms, spelling doom for mortals all over the world, but all was not lost, for a great and powerful wizard named Whitebeard had intervened and sought to put an end to the Hergoth's reign of terror. Whitebeard uh, has quote, quote, is a... Alrighty, enough of that. There's nothing over there, so let's continue. More tutorials, I don't really know. Maybe he isn't home. Oh, there's Whitebeard. There's the bastard Whitebeard. He calls me an intruder. Let us fight. <laughs> I'm just playing. He's my master. He's the one that taught me how to use magic without using magic. But it's kind of like a magic staff, basically. And that's the whole thing, a uh, mage gauntlet. Because it's like a gauntlet, basically, on your right arm. As you can see, she's flopping around. Flailing her body around. Uh, uh, I'm going to make you fight some baddies, huh? Uh, no problem. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck out of here. Get out of here, you bitch. Didn't want it with this, my friend. Okay, what is down here? Um, there is actually, I think there is something down here. This is Whitebeard. Good shit. Mr. Whitebeard, can you fuck me? <laughs> He's like, you impudent bet. I told you to be gone. <laughs> One time only. <onlys. laughs> He's like, oh shit. I mean, you know, it's magic. Well, how did you, uh, Mr. Whitebeard, please listen. I was born with a new, unique affliction and an anti magical curse. Magic does nothing to me. So she can't use magic whatsoever. She's like immune to it. Something's wrong with her. When she was born, she got like the worst, the worst shit ever. She got the worst part of the genes in the magic pool. And they were just like, yeah, you're going to get all, all zeros. 
no magic for you so the story is basic and generic there really is no story but um let's continue on so we got some sorry for over the next few days wipers decades of magical knowledge and experience were put to the test alchemy enchantment conjurance all sorts of magic were tested on Lestia in an attempt to better understand her unusual plight but she cannot use magic so they created a mage gauntlet for her now she has that shit on both arms so I think <laughs> so you need to draw still on it basically she can use basic she can use magic now but it's not real magic it's like fake proto magic only can be casted through the mage gauntlet but she possesses hence the name mage gauntlet <laughs> so generically basic alrighty there is something up here and there it is let's read this a plain piece of parchment that Lexi has been taking notes and drawing doodles so this is what she's been studying all of her whole time and shit so let's get back down over here continue so during this treasure chest you're gonna find plenty of treasure chests like this as well as bottles and what these bottles and stuff do they contain weapons and items and magic so these these um so the box is um okay resume game so okay better that's better so the box is basically the treasure chest consume items and like these jars and vases they they have um they have um spells and magic that you can use throughout the game so now we got some more baddies to inspect let's go ahead and fuck them up Cha. Ah, now this reminds me of Wayward Souls. Oh god, this battle come. Ah, ah one thing, one hit. Fuck out of here. Let's go. Continue on forth. I'm correct. You should be able to focus on flying. He basically teaches you how to do the charge attack. Boom. Okay, that's how you do that. Let's continue. There's no need for all that. Alrighty. So these little magic bottles actually contain like sprites. So you can one. That's one magic. Two. Okay, that's two magic. That's three magic. And basically you can only carry three magic at a time if you grab another magic you will basically you'll drop the first the, the one that you picked up previously and so yeah so let me let us use one magic I'm going to use earth sprite we can actually pick a four so you have to cast where you can um, do the magic at let's go ahead and grab that and what was that that was fireball okay so I have to use fire um, boom okay so there you go got that out the way let us continue on fourth here let us run like a little bitch. Little pansy house. Okay, so we're going to pick up some armor this time. Which is cool. Um, it's a white beard ring. Zaps. Okay, something. So these rings actually make more items common. Like say, um, I have shadow bomb. So if I had a shadow ring, it would make shadow bomb appear more often. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Ah, fuck out of here. Okay, these guys only take one hit. Alrighty, so here's picking up another item. Let us pick up the robe vest. So it's 50% spent critical force. Okay, so that is how she looks in her outfits. <laughs> Boom, let's get you out of here. Um, there's nothing quite particular over here. So yeah, guys, this is Mage Gauntlet. I'm going to be um, just probably not be doing a Let's Playing on this, but maybe I might. I'm just here to showcase this game because I'll be showcasing a lot of games for my channel. Just so people can give me feedback, because nobody wants to give me feedback, so I'm going to force the feedback out of them. Well, those tests confirm some hypothesis, but for now, they're a pressing issue that you must be dealt with. Alrighty, yeah, I know there's something wrong with me. Fuck you. You don't have to talk to me like I'm some fucking imbecile. And fuck your couch. Understood, I won't let you down, white beard. Whatever I have to do, I will fight dragons and get back to figuring out how the hell I was born like this. And you leave again, you bastard. Ah, sounds easy enough, though. So let us continue. Alright, he's gonna semi help us. Semi help us. So yeah guys, that is Mage Gauntlet. That is basically the the, the main the main purpose of it. Um the main stage I guess. So yeah, we'll, we'll be back with part two, maybe, maybe not, but we most likely will, as well as a part three. But yeah, this is Mage Gauntlet with your boy RFO. Bye bye.